If you are between the ages 59 and 63 and saving in a retirement plan like a 401k or a 403b, then this video is for you. Many of you are aware that a special provision exists called catch up that allows you to save some extra money in your 401k or 403b. This year, anyone, regardless of age, can save up to $22,500. Yes, it's a dollar limit, not a percentage limit like many people think. For 2024, anyone over the age of 50 could save an additional $7,500 for a combined contribution limit of $30,000. This limit only applies to your savings and does not take into consideration what your employer is contributing to the plan on your behalf. As the name implies, these higher limits are intended to allow those closest to retirement the opportunity to catch up or make up for prior years where maybe they didn't save as much as they needed to. Recent legislation has now added an extra super catch-up contribution. If you turn 60, 61, 62, or 63, by the end of 2025, you are now eligible to catch up and save $11,250. Overall, the 2025 contribution did change slightly, so here's a quick recap. Next year, everyone can save $23,500. Anyone between the ages of 50 and 59 can save $31,000. And anyone ages 60 to 63 can save $34,750. But what about those ages 64 and older? Interestingly enough, you are not eligible for the super catch-up contribution. You revert back to the standard catch-up and your combined contribution limit is the $31,000. Now, why in the world is that? There's not a super clear answer. Some say this additional savings opportunity stops at 63 since it is assumed by 64, workers are transitioning from accumulating assets to decumulating or retirement. Others point out that really the hard stop in age was due to government budgeting limitations. Either way, you only have that four-year window to take advantage of the higher limits. If you are interested in maxing out your savings, it's a best practice to take the full dollar amount you are eligible for, divide it by the number of pay periods you have in a year, and then calculate what percentage of your check you need to save each time. Oh, and of course, update your contribution percentage online prior to the first payroll of the year. Given that there is a pending mandate in 2026 that certain high income savers only be allowed to make Roth catch up contributions, 2025 may be the last year for some of you to really capture that tax deduction. That's it for this week. This is Jeannie, the 401k lady.